Welcome back. Now, because basically ChatGPT scrapes the internet for information that it gives you when it provides answers in plain language, you can save time in the research, verification, and citation process. If we were to use the same topic as we were in one specific conversation, we can then look for independent verification of our topic area. We can then use a query and we can search for statistical verification of any information that we can find. So what we're going to do now is we're going to type in a statistical request query and we're going to press enter. And chat GPT does give us the information that we were requesting. One of the things you'll notice is that in its answer, likely due to the load on the server in the free version, the query did not complete as you can see here in point number five. That meant then that we could go back and we can ask ChatGPT in order to complete what it is that it had typed. And we use a plain language request in order to do it. We then got the plain language answer in the completion of that point. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.